In this video, I'm going to show you how to do time blocking in Google Calendar. So first step is to open up your Google Calendar and then set it to a weekly view rather than say a month view or an agenda view or something like that. You want to go to uh, the next week rather than the existing week because time slots that have already passed will be a different color and it looks kind of confusing. Turn off all your existing calendars by un unticking all these things here so that your calendar should be entirely clear. This is temporary. You can turn them back on afterwards. You won't lose your meetings and your appointments you've got <clears throat> next week. So you should have a total blank slate to work with. And then you want to create a new calendar and call it a time blocking. And in this case, I'm just going to call it time blocks too, because I've already got one called time blocking. I'm going to create calendar. Okay, and then we go back to the calendar by going up here. And you'll see we have a time blocks two section set here already. Now, we can start to add the different categories that we've got. So one category I'm going to add is lunch because I'm really, you know, in favor of lunch and I take a 20 minute exercise break at lunch as well. So I'm going to put that right in here and I'm going to go um, set that for Monday from say noon till 1 p.m. And now I want to repeat that. So it's going to repeat throughout the week. And if you pull down this does not repeat section here, you can say, oh, okay, do I want this weekly, annually, <laughs> every weekday or custom? And we want in this case, every weekday. And we go save and yay, we've got lunch and exercise. So that's a good start. You know, we got to get that in place. And now I want to put my planning in place. So perhaps every day from 4 till 5 p.m. I want to do planning. So I'm going to put planning here. I'm going to set that from Monday at 4 to 5 p.m. And I want to choose a different color because the color um, in this case, uh, you know, is, is you don't want them all to be the same color. So maybe I'll use a nice blue for planning. And once again, I'm going to repeat that every weekday and have that there. Now. Um, and the reason I put planning at the end of the day is it just helps you kind of set up for next day. What's going to be the most important things and lunch. That way we've got that set. The next thing to look at is what are my categories? What kinds of things do I do? Uh, you know, do I do client projects? Uh, do I do marketing, writing? You know, all of these things can be incorporated. So you'll have to work out what these are for you. I'm just going to throw in some sample ones here. So I'm going to say, okay. Marketing is really important for me because I'm self-employed. I don't get a paycheck. So I need to do marketing every day. But like many people, I might tend to put marketing off and, and work on fun stuff instead. <laughs> Things I'd ra rather do because marketing might involve making cold calls or reaching out to people. So if, if you have a project you don't like to do and you put it off, then you should probably throw it in first thing in the morning. So let's go marketing. And let's do this one for, say, uh, you know, one hour every morning. And again, let's look for a different color. Let's make that one green for the color of money. And let's go ahead and set that to be for repeating weekly. Okay. Now, so far I've repeated everything weekly, but they don't have to be done that way. Let's say another ta uh, area I have is client projects. And let's say I'm gonna do those from 10 till noon. So I'm gonna do two hours instead of the usual one hour. Uh, repeating, I'm gonna go custom. That's really lovely that um, uh, G uh, Google uh, Calendar lets you do this. You can just set it up that you want to maybe do this on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And you can go ends never, go like this, and let's change the color to be perhaps orange. Save it. And now we've got those set up. And perhaps the other two time blocks I'm going to throw in for my um, writing. Maybe, maybe product development. And perhaps we'll do that for two hours there too. We'll change the color to be something more fun. Perhaps the 
purple. And again, we're going to repeat custom. And this time we're just going to go into the Tuesday and Thursday slots and hit save. And that's done. And writing, I need to do some writing or content development or whatever you want to call it. So let's say I'm going to do that from one till two. And let's repeat that every weekday. And let's give it a different color. And save. Let's do some professional development. Um, something else I like to do. And this might be taking cor online courses, um, attending courses, those kinds of things. Let's maybe give it a two hour block a couple days a week because it uh, might need to, to go out to a course or, or something like that. So it might take you more time than, it, than just um, being able to do it every day for an hour or something. And save. Uh, so as you can see, we're getting these really well set up. Perhaps this time is your regular meetings. And maybe you've got like a one hour meeting. Two till three. Perhaps it repeats. Don't do Friday meetings. We don't want to do Friday meetings. Nobody wants to meet on a Friday. That would just be wrong. And if you do Friday, Friday meetings, I'm sorry for you. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. And so uh, let's see what else can we expand here. Uh, maybe I need some more client project time. Ever notice how whenever someone's watching you type, you don't type as well? And we know that that's bright orange for that one. And let's repeat that one. And since we didn't have a meeting there, oh, let's just do some more writing. That will be fun. This card, let's just amend the writing to go there. And it says, do you want to change it for, you know, uh, this event or this and following? Let's go this and following. And there we go. So there's your time blocking set up in Google, uh, Google Calendar. And so the idea here is that you should also have within your task management system <coughs> um, tasks set up by these categories as well. So when you open up Monday morning, you're going to hit the hit the ground running, uh, you open up your marketing task list, you should already have your tasks sorted in priority sequence because you would have done that during your planning time uh, last Friday. Same thing with your client projects. You would already have each of your client projects set up. Uh, you can break this down further. If you've got three different clients, you might go one, two, three, or you might do each of them for a half hour in this slot, you know, as an example. So you can, you can refine this uh, significantly here. You can break this down and show, uh, you know, by the half hour, but I find by the hour, a couple of hours works really well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and, once, and once you're finished, you can then insert your other things back in your calendar so that you can see, uh, so that you can get that there. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And this channel is community supported. So consider uh, supporting us through our Patreon link below. Thanks for listening.